How's it going everyone? My name is McHugh and welcome back to To The Moon. Now, I'm gonna try to keep these videos uh, around 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try. That uh, 29 minute last episode was uh, it's pretty long. So, I will just jump right in there just to get things moving. Just to get the ball moving. So, oh, Dr. Watts, not yet. Uh, last time we came here and we figured out that we were kind of stuck for some reason. Um, oh, hello. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Cheque. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take cheques. Oh. Just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Uh, you're so getting resented. <laughs> hey there, can I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro! You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Oh, thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. Alright, well, if only life worked that way where I can just reset things, that'd be fan freaking fantastic. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am! Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a sheet? We'll down the bottle together. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation, now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm so gonna get you back for this. Montage! So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, <laughs> uh, ach. You okay there? Uh, y yes, I'm just savoring the uh, amazingness of the pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Uh, take your time, we've got two bottles left. <laughs> okay. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agree! <laughs> Gonna be here for a while, aren't we? And you know what else is wrong with society today? Uh, okay. Yeah, I actually have it here. Why? May I see it? Eh, okay. What do you got? Here it is! And... Freeze! Finally, dear lord! How were the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, so, oh, got Dr. Rosaline back in my party. So what does this, oh, okay. Memento found. Uh, do I have enough ball? Yes, I do have enough balls. I got enough balls. Wait, don't you di- Don't worry, sheesh. Well, see, I'm doing it by the books. Oh yeah. Hulk smash! <laughs> Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get this and your running... I'm trying to get this and your ruining the moon. Totally worth it. Memento, prepare. Alright, let's see if I can figure out this puzzle. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Um... Uh, kind of hard to tell which is which here. Oh, I did not do this right, dear lord. This is um, this is gonna be embarrassing. Uh, dear God. Um, crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, perfect. Oh, wait, did I get it? There we go. It only took me... freaking six more tries than the ideal, so that's just perfect. Activate Memento. 
Yes, please. Let's travel even farther back in time. Okay, back at the lighthouse. Oh, okay, we're now in the older, more older. We're an adult. We're, we're grown ups. Yeah, right. What say you, lighthouse? What say you? Whoa! Crikey, not crackers! <laughs> You're Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt from here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! You can't stay on here. You can't get up. God, I hate when this happens. I swear, this group. <laughs> Eva, what the fuck? <laughs> Wuss. Now, if I had the opportunity to jump off large objects and have no negative repercussions, I would totally do that. One of these days I'm gonna skydive. It's gonna be great. Why would they abandon her, abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. I guess this is in the somewhat present, I suppose. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, Bob. We'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And and we can walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Aww. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. Kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. That's the truth. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Alrighty. That's adorable. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. In that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in our course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I could never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. So the lighthouse was on ya. Okay, whoa. Whoa. Oh, so I'm going back in time. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so I just got some more balls from them. I got two, actually, from John. Perhaps because he's a male? I'm just gonna stop it there. And I got more balls! I just need to find a memento. Uh, oh, wait, here it is. Memento detected. One, two, trace, four, five. Cha-ching! Alrighty. Here goes another puzzle. Uh, ideal five. Um, maybe... Oh, no. I totally effed that up. Um, gotta suck at puzzles. Uh, oh, wait, uh, Ah, oh, damn it, I can't... If only I can do the diagonal right there. Um... Shit. Uh, I'm so boned. Dear God. Um... Shit. Uh... Maybe if I... No, that doesn't work either. Damn it! Well, okay, wait, no, it does work. <laughs> Ah, uh, that, that was embarrassing. Whatever, I will just move on. Dear Lord. So 
So many people probably like, you're doing it wrong. Clunk. This is definitely the sound of you picking up a paper rabbit. River? Where are we right now? I mean, we're obviously in their house, but like the timeline wise. Let's, f okay, there we go. Um, okay, we're still in the adult phase. Here's the piano. Can I play the piano? An old grand baby piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Ha! <laughs> Not really, you can't even get through this through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everyone. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. Now, I don't watch Doctor Who, but that might be a Doctor Who reference, so if there's a Doctor Who reference and if there's anyone out there who watched Doctor Who, please let me know in the comments below if that is actually a Doctor Who episode. I have no idea. Oh, that got grim and ominous. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? All these paper rabbits. What are you making there? Rabbits. I see that. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. It was yellow. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. In detail. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's... Just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. She does not look pleased or satisfied. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? Hmm. Is there is this where her sickness starts really taking it? Or like starting to affect her now? I have no idea. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? I think- I, I still think it's Asperger's that she has. But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a platypus. Oh, that's a memento. Okay. So this is the day she started it, huh? Alright, so this is the time where her Asperger's kicked in? I, I really know how Asperger's works. Um, I'm missing a ball. Perhaps is it? Oh, it's probably the piano. An old baby grand. No, not the piano. Uh, what could it be? New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> Yep, all those pieces of papers are definitely going to be made into paper rabbits. And I just spit everywhere. Ball, ball, and ball. Hello, Mr. Platypus. We meet again. Alright, what do you got for me? Okay, if I go diagonal, uh, like this. I think the trick mainly here is to get the diagonal to be the opposite. Probably not. I'm probably all just horribly, horribly wrong because I suck at puzzles. Puzzles do not like me and I like puzzles, but yeah, they just don't like me and I am my brain is not big enough for puzzles, cause I am a smart, dumb person. Nope, I'm just dumb. Anyways, um, uh, this might take a bit, so I will fast forward till I get this freaking puzzle done. Ah, there we go. I got it. Yeah, it only took me 25. Oh wow, the ideal is three. Holy crap. <laughs> I certainly did not make that the ideal. Uh, 
Yeah, I took way too much time. I'm glad I cut that out. <laughs> okay, now we're in the middle adult phase, I guess. Middle aged, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, I see a Le car here with a floating platypus inside. That does nothing. But the lovely red arrow on the ground is pointing me in the direction of the house. Well, actually, the house hasn't been made yet in this point in time. So where is it taking me? Oh, okay, got a ball from walking on the, the stairs. So random memento. Uh, if I'm just walking around and I'm getting a memento ball memory thing, then this must be pretty important. Uh, yes, the house is still not here. Oh, this is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Receive no acrophobia. Is acrophobia the fear of heights? I, yeah, acro being, like, high and acrobatic, I guess, and phobia is obviously, like, being afraid of something, so... I guess acrophobia is the fear of heights. You learn something new every day, and I do not know why that told me to jump across there. That was utterly pointless. I apologize. Oh, cutscene. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. The truth? I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is he talking about? Tainted his first meeting? Oh, what? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? Hip <laughs> River! Are you insane? Get away from there! Jeez, it's kinda crazy. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Uh, oh, oh, I should probably save. Anyways, uh, I don't want this episode to expand too long because that last episode is insanely long. So I'm all out of time for today. Thank you so much for watching me play To The Moon as we're delving deeper into Johnny's past. He's, we see on the, um, the upper screen that he's still doing okay still alive but i fear that we're probably running out of time for johnny in the present so we gotta truck along and figure out what's going on with the story and if we can actually get him to the moon so once again thank you so much for watching to the moon check out the annotations around after the check just click on something it, it helped me a lot. <laughs> and as always, I will see you in the next video. See you later. But picture it with this guy instead. Boy sees girl. Guy sees girl. Guy really likes girl. Guy starts following girl. Guy finally figures out girl's name. Up here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, almost there. There we go. Come here. But I always put her back, because I love her so much. I love my Zom Zom. She was sneaky and got into sneaky places.